Morning. Welcome back to Coffee Station. Uh, the question has been asked, what did they build these uh, forts, stockades, trade houses, what did these boys in the fur trade build? What, what types of timber and lumber? Well, uh, in our instance, uh, a hodgepodge of hardwoods. Now, this reproduction is almost all pine, and it came out of East Texas and West Louisiana. But at the time period that these boys built the original, uh, they would have been using a hodgepodge of hardwoods. Uh, now, when you read the accounts of these guys keeping journals and diaries traipsing around in this part of the world early, early on, uh, several of them will say that there was no uh, great, there was not enough hardwood uh, to build anything out of once you passed above the mouth of Cache Creek. And so, uh, Coffee and Coville, you heard us talking about, they think they, well, they know they had one of these built out on the North Fork of the Red somewhere. Uh, some guys have read, I've never run across it myself, but some of them have read that they built that first one out of Adobe because there wasn't any building material. Well, they moved back down to the mouth of Cache Creek and there is enough timber there to build and uh, again, the guys keeping the journals and the diaries traveling through the country, they were always on the lookout for what kind of resources were available. And they talk about um, several different kinds of oak, mulberry, hackberry, uh, soapberry, catalpa, maple, ash, um, black, um, oh, wait a minute, black locust, uh, white locust, honey locust, um, and black walnuts and pecans among others and so you had this variety of hardwoods and because there wasn't a whole lot of any particular thing they think that these things would have been built out of a hodgepodge of these different hardwoods uh, they would also use that as their fuel source uh, the you know they the, the this place had 12 guys working there uh, those 12 it was cook a blacksmith a clerk four guys in and out hunting and trapping, so that's seven guys, so that leaves five guys to see about getting the wood and the water and taking care of the mules. You almost have to have somebody stand and watch over them, you know, 24 hours or as long as they're outside the outside grazing. Um, you got to have somebody looking out for them. And so that leaves, you know, these four or five guys to uh, divide it among, you know, they're, they're, you're usually not going to have the same guys doing the same job all the time, but these five guys would, among their chores, would be get the wood in and get the water and see about the mules. And uh, they were hauling the water from, uh, they think they were hauling it. Uh, there was a set of drip springs within a mile and a half of where they were. Uh, there was a set of drip springs on uh, up the creek, on Cash Creek. They, um, the guys getting the wood in are going to have to go out cut it and then trim it and then uh, drag it back to close to where you're going to use it back to the trade house and cut it to length and then split the stuff because you're doing this all by hand. Um, now these guys uh, talked about having a saw pit and sometimes that was literally a pit and sometimes it wasn't but they would still call it a pit and so they think they had uh, wooden doors, wooden floors, uh, wooden windows because they were uh, using this saw pit that was used to cut lumber. 
and so they speculate that maybe the rafters and the joists would have been uh, squared and that uh, these log walls would have been uh, square hewn and dovetail notched rather than the saddle notch. Uh, but there would have been like a big variety of hardwoods and they, uh, they had this saw pit that they were using to cut lumber, uh, which was, you know, if you got a saw pit, you're going to have crosscut saws and buck saws and, you know, adzes and uh, planes, uh, you know, some of the hand planes. Uh, you're going to have felling axes and then you're going to have uh, the uh, broad axes, which were used for, you know, scoring to the mark. And so you've got a big variety of hardwoods and, of course, the uh, oak. There's a lot of that stuff, and it makes you know it's good to cook with. Uh, but there was uh, walnuts and pecans, and and uh, there's box elders, a lot of different kinds of wood. Oh, the other thing I was going to tell you guys about uh, was the question was how long did it take to build one of these? Uh, you, they didn't say, but uh, there are a few other places that you will read about. The guys talked about they they were roughly the same size, 80 by 100 or 100 foot square, like this one. And they talk about um, taking uh, about six weeks to build one. And they had a crew of about uh, 20 people. And so you're looking at, you know, a month to uh, two months, depending on how big you're building it. But one about this size is going to take you about a month and a half. Um, anyway, Silas is getting real particular about me helping him do stuff. So I'm going to go sneak off and let him do stuff by himself just so he will appreciate me more. I appreciate you guys stopping in. Uh, next time you're down the trail this way, stop in and we'll have some more coffee. And no, it hasn't improved any. We'll see y'all.